for One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by number one Cochrane. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. Welcome back. We continue here with fans because most people assumed uh, like a month ago that there'd be no fans all season long for everything. All of a sudden, we're starting to see it. We're seeing it overseas, of course. Now we're going to see it this week in NASCAR's event. They're going to have 1,000 people there, military and first responders, and they're going to be socially distanced apart. And then when the PGA Tour goes to Muirfield Village for the second event there, not the first, but the second, which is the memorial, they will allow fans in anywhere from eight to 10,000. They're going to get temperature checks. They're going to see what happens. Pony, does this lead the way to having fans at NFL games as this season not, miss, not necessarily begins, but progresses? I think absolutely. I mean, the, the, the Steelers, they asked for their season ticket money on June 1st, to the best of my knowledge. I mean, they're still planning to have fans in the stadium. I think you can still buy pit football tickets as I talk right now. Uh, it's amazing. Richie, I don't know if you knew this. Bob is great friends with the guy at Mirfield. I heard him on the radio on Saturday. Maybe he can get us in VIP for this event. I mean, Bob Biani knows people in high places, and it was evident to me that even at a prestigious event like Jack Nicholas's tournament, if your name's Bob Pompiani, uh, you get the velvet rope and the red carpet. Well, it's only a three-hour drive, right? Actually. Let's go. I'm yeah, sure the media is going to be allowed, minutes, too. Actually, but go ahead. I think just as we close <laughs> down, we're going to open back up. Um, and it, I think it's going it, to – you can see it's, it's gaining momentum and speed. And as, the, as we continue to uh, see that it's safe out there and people are getting more comfortable – I think you're going to see it, it turn into eight to 10,000, maybe eventually 20,000. I know we're not allowed to have fans here in Pennsylvania, but I think at some point you will see fans, and I think uh, I'm optimistic. I'm and an how optimistic about broadcasters person too? Yeah. I mean, how about this rule that came out? Baseball told their, their broadcasters they can't go on the road. I mean, come on. Bob, what are you going to do? Call preseason games <laughs> off uh, TV? I mean, uh, that, this that's going to be really, really at hard. At this point. We've had those discussions, right, Rich? I mean, it could be doing something away yeah. from the actual site, which I hope does not happen. Uh, there's a way to socially distance in there. I know trucks are involved, satellite communications, a lot of people are necessary for that. But hopefully by then, things will change a little bit. We'll see, because things are changing uh, week by week. And as things continue to hopefully get better, then you're going to see more and more lessening of those restrictions. All right, we'll be back with more. Number one Cochrane Sports Showdown each and every Sunday night here on KDK-TV. Thanks for joining us.